Hey, hey, Carla Zen Queen here, and I'm going to show you real quick how to um, do an image, put SEO in an image. So I'm just going to create a new image. This is Photoshop. I'm going to create a new image. And we'll just do some real quick fill. This color is going to be green, blue, okay. So, like, Let's just say this is, you know, completed. I could add some text here to make it look like something rather than nothing. This is something rather, let's spell it right, but rather than nothing. All right, so if this were, um, so then I would go here. So I'm going to go to file and usually I haven't done this for a while. Let me see where it's at. Image. Edit. Okay. So we're going to go to edit and we're going to go down here to preferences. I don't know if you're even working with Photoshop, but preferences. I got some slowness going on probably because I'm recording. Preferences. I'm trying to get to this general tab here. There we go. General. And it's going to pull this up. And this is not where I wanted to be. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go to image. file info. All right. So that was, let me do that again so that you can see. I went to file, excuse me. I went to file, file info, right? So it pulls this up. And if I put in my document title, my keyword, um, don't necessarily want to put the author in there. I mean, you can put your name in there um, if it's, you know, original to you. Uh, same with um, the author title. Anywhere that you put this keyword in here um, is going to be beneficial. So, but most definitely in this area with the keywords. Um, if it's copyright, you know, you can put your copyright information in there. If you have a copyright URL, you can put your website in here. Um, this is the camera data. And like if this were an image um, that I took with my camera, it would have all the camera information in there. It would tell me, you know, what kind of camera it was taken, uh, you know, what lens was used, all these. This is, this is actually the EXIF information. All this information is automated uh, when you're using an image that has been taken from a camera. And so then origin, um, you can set the date. You can, when you put in like a city or a state, it almost keywords to that. So like um, on some of my videos, I've got them keyworded to my area, Corpus Christi, Texas. So because I have um, that in there and the date that I created that type of stuff, they rank better. Um, so basically, it's this basic information area where you want to put the keywords and definitely in the keyword area. Don't overdo that. Um, these other ones, you can you can fill them in if you want. I, I don't know if they're helpful. Um, I would say, you know, definitely in this basic area, you want your keywords. Um, the origin you know, like I say, if you're working, like I'm working with some small local businesses. So on some of their images, yes, I'm including the city and the state. And then like I'm working with a towing company in Minneapolis. So I would absolutely put Minneapolis, Minnesota, United States, even um, the credit line. I, I might add, like if this is an image that let's say I took a picture and I'm going to use the picture on 
somebody else's website, but I want credit for my image, this is where I would put that information, um, the source and the, and the credit line. Um, so it just kind of depends on how professional you want to take it. In the Photoshop history, what ends up showing up here is like when you take a, like if I had an image from my camera and I put it into Adobe Photoshop, it automatically generates the changes that I've made to that image in this area here. So if you're working with an image that was not originally created by you, um, this area may be filled in. Um, I'm not sure if you can change that out. I could actually check really quick because I probably have some images that are not created by me. Um, those aren't it. So let's go. I'll open something up that is not created by me. So this one right here is something that I copied from Amazon. So I'm going to open that up. And then I'm going to go to the file info right here and see this is not keyworded out in any in, in any way now this one I have a website called Zen Empire and I have done some blogs there surrounding uh, the keyword Zen bracelets and so this is something if I really wanted to make this better or my blog post better by adding an image of a Zen bracelet not only naming this image you know Zen bracelet but coming in here and putting those keywords just like this Zen bracelet and like I said this is an image that I did not create but if I go in and change this just like this it will help so I'm also going to put in here Gen Zen jewelry because that's something good so um and then I would just save and so to show you that that works I'm going to again go to the file info and you'll now see that they're in there and so that's going to save that every time that this image is um, shared um, these keywords are going to go with it and so like somebody popping that keyword into Google um, those images are going to show up like like let's go here real quick so we go Zen bracelets obviously I didn't upload that but here we go Zen bracelets and you know if somebody's shopping this is what's gonna come up right and you can see that there's you know a lot of bracelets that are very similar to the one that I just showed right and so some people because you have these different tabs in the search will click on these images and so these images depending on you know what they're keyworded to will pop up and sometimes like you know people like me I come around and like you know I know a lot of these products I sell them from Amazon so that's where I've copied the images from and so some of these you know like this is from somebody's dot com but I know this is totally something that they're they're probably selling on Amazon so I can probably just go to their site and see the image and see what they're doing Zen bracelets so um that's a that's just a big key as far as um, how to use images like I say you're going to want to change the image name to the keyword and then change those that file info in there so I hope that was helpful um, I can look at some other programs if you tell me what um, photo editing program you're you're using I can usually you know go look at that and see if there's a like way to do that. I use Photoshop though and that's how to use Photoshop to change your exit information and add keywords. Peace out.